tonight, Tennessee farms on the brink of collapse. It's a reality facing dozens of lifelong farmers across the state, making things worse for one local family, a mysterious illness that killed off half their cattle herd. News Channel 5's Chris Conti has their story new at 6. I was born here, right there, I was born in 55. Blakemore Farm in Paris is running on borrowed time and borrowed money. We're going to hang in here as long as we can, man. And both are running out. Our basic routine is feeding them twice a day. Years ago, Ron Ward accepted the fact that he is at the helm of a sinking ship. The hardest part is unpredictable, not knowing the market. But the fate of this farm that's been in his family since 1951 is only getting worse by the day. It's just the grace of God we made it this far. Only the grace of God. Typically, at this time of year, the 61-year-old has about 150 head of cattle. Right now, though, there's only about 20. Over the course of the last year, 47 cows somehow got pneumonia and died. Some laid down and died before we got to them to vaccinate them. That's how fast they were dropping. Ron can't afford to buy any more beef cattle. And these cows would hardly bring in any money. He's barely breaking even as it is. All involved, we lost about $71,000, which is borrowed money. That was borrowed money, which we still paying back. Ron is not alone in his struggle to save the family farm. Across Tennessee, it's been a difficult year for farmers, not just for those with cattle, but for those who harvest soybean and corn as well. Part of it is supply and demand, simple economics, and part of it is politics. I mean, the last thought when you go to bed and the first thought when you wake up. You know, but this farmer, what are we going to do? Ron is trying his best not to join the dozens of Tennessee farms that have shut down already this year. It's not looking good. I know it would mean devastation for me. I know it would mean me leaving Tennessee and never want to come back to the state again. For now, though, that is a reality. He's trying his best to fend off. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. And Ron is in the process of filing an appeal with the USDA to try to get compensated by the farm who sold him those cattle. In the meantime, friends have set up a GoFundMe to help the family. We've got that information on our Facebook page.